is Richard Watterson. He can take it. Yeah, I was more worried about the staff. It was like shoveling french fries down an elevator shaft. Well... What it is, guys? It's your boy Blasphemous HD, and today we are here to check out more amazing gumball. Pretty sure I ruined that name. Oh well. If you guys want to watch the original video, the link's in the description down below. Sometimes, probably not. It's by Negative Frost. Lego. Huh? Ah! Hmm. Hit the rat three times to get in. Dad, you made it! Uh, yeah. There's food, right? Happy Burning Man Day! Happy what now? Grandpa Frankie! Oh, hey, kids. Uh, Nicole, these are for you. Oh, thank you. You'll always be alive in our hearts. Great Aunt Petunia. Sorry, I couldn't find one that said Nicole, especially not in the dark. Who invited him? Me! It's a proper family get-together. You're late, Dad. You almost missed the show. Well, at least I'm here now. And if anyone asks, I was also here Thursday night between 8 and 11. <laughs> <laughs> He's not joking. <laughs> He's not laughing. Come on, kids. All together now for the Vermin Man song. Here he comes, the Vermin Man. He's always ready with a trick or a scam. With his one black eye and his pointed nose and an outfit straight from 80s cop shows. He's a liar and a rogue and a soldier and a thief. He'll take away your happiness and fill you full of grief. Here he comes, the Vermin Man. He's always ready with a trick or a scam. He's a no-good husband and a deadbeat dad. If you disagree for good, then we'd all be glad. His face is gross, his manner is brash. You split him down the middle, all you find is trash. I wonder if he's realized this song is about him yet. Because I think it is. Here he comes, the burning man. He's always ready with a trick or a scam. Where's the candy? There isn't any. Just garbage to symbolize how rotten the vermin man is on the inside. Got a hole for a soul and a heart like a knife. knife. He let down his child and wife. Never ever marry him or ruin your life. The vermin man. He's always ready with a trick or a lie or a con or a hustle or a hoax or a fraud or a rabbit or a sham. Well, it wasn't about me. Yeah, I know, I get the hint. Don't worry, Dad. The Vermin Man isn't about you. It's a tradition as old as time. Mom said it started when the pilgrims first came to this land and they were all abandoned by their deadbeat father. You know, the British. Mm, no, son. I think it was probably invented by your mom because she can't stand me. I invented it to distract our son from remembering the date you walked out on us. Yeah. And yes, because I can't stand you. I'm sorry, Richard. I shouldn't have come. I can't make up for what I've done to you. I've missed too much. Has he gone? The lousy bum stole my wallet. That's a fitting ending to that scene. Very fitting. Oh, this is bad. What can we do to cheer him up? Oh, I know! Dad Rock! I'm gonna rock you until you feel the rock and roll Rock around the rock that is made out of rock I'm gonna rock it back and forth by the rock in a horse Gonna quench your thirst with some rock on the rocks Wow, there's a lot of promise of rocking, but... Yeah, it's like having someone take you around a theme park telling you how much fun you're gonna have, but you never get to go on the rides. Well, he's kind of rocking. Just encourage him with a bit of dad dancing. <laughs> What's wrong? That's the music from my dad's generation. We'll follow you into the... Baker, you only bought the t-shirts for the cool bands, didn't you? Mm -hmm. Come on, let's go to Joyful Burger. For once, you've got our permission to comfort eat. How about a joke? Knock knock. Dad? What? No. <laughs> so, that's one large fries. I mean, I don't have any real beef with my dad. 
Sure, he's made mistakes. But now there's too much time to catch up. And all this has left me in a, a bit of a pickle. While he's going on to make a hash brown of his life. It's so hard when a parent deserts you. And now I Donut. know what to do. Every night Ice cream. inside, I just feel so awful. I don't have to tell him how I feel, but I guess I'm too much of a homeless chicken! And comfort eating is not going to make me any happier. <laughs> This doesn't look good to me. I don't think anyone would enjoy the sight of a grown man smearing burger meat into his face in a kid's ball pit. Yup. Even in Japan, that's pretty niche. <laughs> Isn't all this eating dangerous? Man, this is Richard Watterson. He can take it. Yeah, I was more worried about the staff. It was like shoveling french fries down an elevator shaft. Well... It was like shoveling french fries down an elevator shaft. Oh, now my brain and my stomach are sad. I've got an idea. This is what I do when I feel blue. I look at the clouds and see that even the darkest ones eventually drift away. And it's fun because they make shapes. Like that one. It looks like a hat. A hat like my father's. Uh, sure. How about that one? It's like a horseshoe. Shoes over walking. Like he walked out on me. Uh, well, how about that one? It looks like a... Uh, oh. Looks like a popsicle. Oh, uh, I guess. Popsicles are cold like the Arctic Ocean, and that's cold because it's got lots of icebergs in it. That's why it's dangerous for ships, because icebergs sink ships, and what's the first thing to leave a sinking ship? A rat. <gasps> and rats are covered in fleas, just like my father fleed from me. Yeah, we got it. He could have stopped a rat. I just... I. I don't know what else to do. Dad, you just got to talk to Grandpa Frankie about it. Ugh, there's no point. He's just a con man. The best I can hope for is that the next time I see him, he doesn't hustle me out of $700 with that ball and cups trick again. These cups and this ball are worth $2,000. But as you're my son, I'll let you have them for $700. Ugh, I don't know what to say to him. I can't put it into words. Would it help to sing it? You know what? I think maybe it would. Was that clear? Uh, 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 yeah. But that doesn't mean you can't fix whatever that was between you. I would need to make a time machine. Why? Because if I invented a time machine, my dad would be really proud of me. It's too late anyway. I'll never get those years back. <laughs> no, not true. You can't travel back in time and experience the things you guys missed, but you can travel forward in time and fix the things that are yet to come. Because the future starts now. <gasps> huh, that was really good, wasn't it? <laughs> kind of surprised myself there. I was like, the future starts now. Bam! Nailed it! <laughs> the future starts now. 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 Can we just... Yeah, sorry, let's just get on with it. <laughs> oh, there, there you are. So, here's the plan. You guys go through everything a father and son should have shared, but, like, really fast. Three, two, one, go! So, uh, where do we start? How about a piggyback ride? Okay. That's as good a place as... <laughs> you ready, champ? Yeah! <laughs> well done, son! And now we run! Why? Because technically that's not our ball! Huh? Run! <laughs> this priceless heirloom was passed down from grandfather to father, and from father to son. And it was passed down from that son's second story window by my former cellmate to me. And now it's yours. Hi. I don't know what to say. Good, because anything you do say might be held against you in court. What? <gasps> now make sure you don't forget the little bit under your chin. Very good. Now the second one. And now the third. Great. Now you just have to slide down the drain pipe and run. <laughs> Now first you release the handbrake. Now gently slip it into drive. 
Yeah. Homie just stole the car, bruh. I don't like it, Dad. It's perfectly normal to be nervous your first time driving a getaway car. I'm sorry, I can't do this. Hey, wait, where are you going? Oh, no, reel it in, son. Nice and easy. <laughs> okay, I think that's enough. What? What did I do wrong? It's no good. I thought this would be a father and son bonding thing. You know, we talk about life. Uh, Instead, y'all risking life imprisonment. Just breaking the law. Word. That's cool. Let's do that now. <gasps> that would be nice. Okay, so life. Life is like 15, 20 years, but you can be out in 10 with good behavior. Oh, forget it. Oh, look, son, you know what I'm like. I'm the vermin man. I'm no role model. I'm more of a parole model. <laughs> oh, look, I didn't want you to turn out like me. And I was right. Look at you. You turned out great. And your kids love you. I didn't start off as a good father. But your kids, they see you as better than you are. So every day you bust your chops and try to live up to that. It's too late for me. No, not true. You know what my kids taught me today? The future starts now. Yeah. I'm sorry, son. I'm sorry, too. You better check your wallet. I've got nothing to apologize for. Yes, I do. I stole your wallet. That's my boy. And don't worry, it's not mine anyway. Well, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to comment, like, and or subscribe to his